We've been talking a lot in the past few weeks about covering Donald Trump and his supporters and the truth and who you should talk to, who you have to call out, yada, yada, yada. The editor of the Cleveland Plain Dealer, Chris Quinn, is out with a letter to readers acknowledging that the paper's reporting on Donald Trump upsets some readers, but that there aren't two sides to facts. So I thought this would be a really good way to sort of put some of our thoughts into context because his piece really crystallizes it. Reading from the piece now, he says, the North Star here is the truth. We tell the truth, even when it offends some of the people who pay us for information. The truth is that Donald Trump undermined faith in our elections in his false bid to retain the presidency. He sparked an insurrection intended to overthrow our government and keep himself in power. No president in our history has done worse. This is not subjective. We all saw it. Plenty of leaders today try to convince the masses we did not see what we saw, but our eyes don't deceive. Trust your eyes. Trump on January 6th, launched the most serious threat to our system of government since the Civil War. You know that. You saw it. The facts involving Trump are crystal clear. And as news people, we cannot pretend otherwise, as unpopular as that might be with a segment of our readers. There aren't two sides to facts. People who say the Earth is flat don't get space on our platforms. If that offends them, so be it. Sadly, many believe the lies. They trust people in authority without questioning the obvious discrepancies or relying on their own eyes. These are the people who take offense to the truths we tell about Trump. No one in our newsroom gets up in the morning wanting to make a segment of readers feel bad. No one seeks to demean anyone. We understand what a privilege it is to be welcomed into the lives of millions of people who visit our platforms each month for news, sports, and entertainment. But our duty is to the truth. Mike Barnacle, I just thought it was important to read that. Um, sometimes things get pretty muddled. What about is um, this and that? Well, free speech is free speech. Just like let a person come on and say what they think because that's what they think when sometimes we know they know what the truth is. And that's the problem. You know, it's a large problem, Meeker, and that was a terrific piece uh, from the editor yeah. of the Cleveland Plain Dealer. But uh, we were talking earlier about the Trump campaign in terms of its darkness uh, and its less than accurate impressions of America and American life going forward. It's a very dark, fearful campaign. <clears throat> And the news media's job is to report the truth about the campaign, no matter how ugly the truth might sound to people who are true believers in Donald Trump. And some of them you have to feel badly for because they have bought into a lie. But others are on it, on the campaign, for all the wrong reasons. And that has to be pointed out as well. And that happens to be the job of newspapers and news organizations like NBC News. We try our hardest. We're going to upset some people sometimes. We're going to make a mistake once in a while. It happens in life and in the business of, of life, covering life. But we should stick with it because the truth, hopefully, in the end, always wins out. I'll tell you why the media has no other choice beyond it's the right thing to do. The media, as we know it, won't exist if they don't do this the right way. It's very, very simple. What people have to understand that if Donald Trump wins, he's going to do an or bomb. He's going to all of a sudden call up various networks and say, if you don't take this guy off or you don't take that off, I'm not going to let your next deal go through. That's going to happen. So if the media wants to remain free, they better get that message, that, that fantastic editor from the Cleveland Plain Dealer. Yeah. Just put out. Our, our job, well, Mika, is simply to call it as we see it, to call it accurately yep. and plainly. If he engages in racist language, call it racist language. If he fuels an insurrection, say yeah. he fuels an insurrection. And I think the problem is that uh, readers, viewers, people who join platforms like the Cleveland Plain Dealer, they have to understand that some places that call them, some platforms that call themselves news organizations don't live by the same rules. And that's what's made it very difficult out there.
Hey everyone, MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.